Today we're facing the world's greatest fears. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Sometimes you can face your fears and conquer them. Yes. Other times you can find out that a crap ton of other people are afraid of the same thing and then you can feel a little better about not ever conquering mm -hmm. them. And that's the path that we're opting for today. Yes, let's all be paralyzed by fear together. Today we're exploring and experiencing the most common phobias and I am very interested to see how the specific rankings shake mm. out. It's time for Today We Reveal the Top 10 Things That Scare Ya. Watch to the end, that is if you dare -a. We're gonna be witnessing or experiencing the most common phobias according to the agreed upon psychiatric studies yes, that have been those. done across the world. And then we'll be trying to place them in the correct order right over here on our top 10 phobias ranking board. Hey Chase. Hey guys, how you doing? You ready? Good. I'm so ready. You, you, look, you look very studious today. I, yeah. I Can am, you pronounce I mean. all these things? Yes, uh, flying. Dogs. <laughs> Come on, Chase. <laughs> All right, so, you, so you've so you already put four on the board. We know these are correct, starting with number 10. Uh, mysophobia. Yeah. Misophobia. Misophobia? Miso. Misophobia? Not like the soup. Fear of germs and dirt. I like the sound of that. Trip, trip, trip. Uh, Trypanophobia? Trypanophobia. Trypanophobia. Needles. Fear of needles? Just okay, I needles? get it. Cynophobia. The fear, Dogs? Fear of movies. Sinophobia. Oh, sinophobia, okay. And then teromahanophobia. <laughs> How do you say it? Teromahanophobia. Wow. Oh, that's what we did. Yeah. Fear, Fear of, of flying. That's pretty common. Shout out to my Christy. So the most common in this list <laughs> is currently flying. Okay, so what do we gotta do, Link? How, how, we how, gotta how can we win? We gotta fill in the rest of these, and if we can get three out of the six remaining slots correctly, then we will get to go to our happy place in Good oh. Mythical More for 30 seconds. But if we oh. don't, then the Mythical Crew will release a photoshopped movie poster of the iconic 1996 film Fear, as seen here with Marky Mark. And who is that, Alicia Silverstone? No, it's Reese Witherspoon. Okay, really? It doesn't look like her from that profile, but, but that's it, who it was. But it's not gonna be them, it's gonna be us. Yeah. And it's gonna be awkward. That's not gonna happen, because we're gonna win. All right, so what? what is there a fear under here? Yes, you may remove the cloche. <laughs> Please very gently, no tricks. No, no tricks. No! Oh! <laughs> Guys, calm down. You're okay, bud. He was oh looking gosh. at us. Guys, okay. this is Craig. He's you our pet. What? You know, know Craig. He, <laughs> he could have totally just bit you right on the face, just latched onto your nose. I'm actually not scared of Craig, but when I didn't know he was going to be there, I'm very scared of him. I love that we've now set this up as if you're supposed to be afraid of all these things, but this <laughs> Craig is just representing a fear, so don't worry. The rest probably won't I'm not scare scared of him in general. Let me tell you what happened from back here. I'm sorry, Craig. <laughs> so, they put, I'm sorry, that was probably very disconcerting. We have to close our eyes, and they, we have to close our eyes, and they, Bye. and they put the thing in front of us. Oh, my gosh. And then, look at him. And so I closed my eyes, they put the cloche on, and I said, well, be gentle opening the cloche. And I just immediately knew that it was like bugs. I don't know what it was. Yeah, it's bugs. That's why I was so surprised, not because it was a snake, but because it wasn't bugs. And it was a snake. <laughs> so if it was a cupcake, you would have had the same reaction. Okay, I, I, yeah, so <laughs> the fear you are evaluating in this round is but it the wasn't fear a, of snakes. I wasn't playing it up. It, I was legitimately Oh, we know. Scared. Oh, we know. <laughs> uh, the fear of snakes is Ophidiophobia. I think this is pretty dang common. I'd say put it at number two. I think number I think number one is going to be fear of heights. All right, let's go with number two. We have a switcheroonie around, and um, he can go now. <laughs> All right, put him put him away. Let's see what we're I'm got not here. I'm not doing it. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's just a note. It's the fear of notes. To uncover the next common fear, turn your eyes to the video screen, dear. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's David Hill. Oh, where is he? This is a horror film. <laughs> he's. In, he's. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes <laughs> crossed. Fear of spaces. <laughs> that was incredible. That was. Who directed that? Where'd y'all get such a. Morgan Morgan. Morgan Morgan. 
Morgan Morgan doing some cinema. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> is, is David still in that deep box? What's a deep freaking box? I haven't seen him in a while. Man. It's very common to be in a group with people Maybe and somebody's got this fear. Yeah, five or six, I'm thinking. I say five. Okay, let's go with lucky number five. Whew, my adrenaline is still pumping. You feel like you can do it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just another, <sighs> another note. Another note. Oh, these notes are not that scary. <laughs> You've been, you've been so brave, but there are more fears to face. Please watch David Hill reenact the next with grace. Okay. Oh. I love how he wakes up. Oh, what's he seeing? What's he seeing? <laughs> so is the opposite of claustrophobia? Agoraphobia. Yes. Fair places and situations. Okay. 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 So... Okay. When you think of agoraphobia, you kind of think of like the fear of leaving the house. Yeah. But it turns right. out that it's more complex than just that because broadly speaking, it's the fear of places and situations, unfamiliar environments where it, one feels helpless or possessing a lack of control. So for some people, okay. it can mean like wide open spaces. For some people, it can mean crowded spaces. So it's a it's a multi-use fear across the board. I'm feeling number eight. I think this is... This is something that we all know about because... Yeah, I mean, these are, we'll know about all of these. There's 10. Well, but I didn't know about, like I haven't heard the word for ne fear of needles before. It's definitely eight. six or eight. Let's go with eight, yeah. Yeah, because more people are afraid of doggies. Eight, Chase, come right. on now, come on. Come on, there you go. I like this board. <laughs> okay, nothing. <laughs> fear of curses. <laughs> it's fear of a nothing. fear of thunder and lightning. And it has oh. a cool name. It's astrophobia. Astrophobia. Scientists think that there's a genetic component present in this fear because it tends right. to like pass down from parents to kids. I mean, I... But that's just, I think that's lore. I, I have noticed, and I don't think this necessarily qualifies as phobia level, but having moved to California where there are no thunderstorms, very rarely, and then going back to North Carolina for like the summer and there'll be like a thunderstorm every single afternoon. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a little bit scared of it. I'm like, oh, it could kill you. No, like, I, 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 I love it, never, it. It never took with me, I, I missed it. That's why I wanted to, I wanted to be a weatherman. No, I, I like it, but I am scared of it. But again, it's not, if I'm inside, I'm not scared of it at all. But if I'm like, I gotta get in my car, like if I have to go from my inside the Home Depot to the, to the car and it's lightning, you know, I'm like, oh man, I'm tall. I'm gonna be the first so one to get saying. hit. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm like going through the, I gotta get down to 5'8". <laughs> You're a walking lightning rod. Yeah, if right. I'm, if I'm in a thunderstorm, I gotta go with you. So yeah, yeah, right, I'm yeah. safe. Me and Chase, we're not, we, I'm, No, you don't, you don't want to hide under tall things because it'll get you too. Oh, that's true. Like it'll, cows it'll under a tree. It'll jump. You're saying this is like a regional fear. Yep. We gotta put it at six, man. But I actually think it might need to be at eight. <laughs> right. We're going with six, but we do not mean it. Uh, Lucas brought this one in slowly. <laughs> yeah, Lucas. <laughs> okay. David's here again and ready to make you scream. Hope you brought some extra undies. This phobia is extreme. Oh, he keeps waking up. <laughs> <laughs> he always finds himself in these situations. Uh, he's cool though. He's on a. He's oh, like, hey everybody, you know, I'm you know be... where he is. Oh no. Oh, David yeah. Hill. <laughs> Agrophobia. The great eyes. okay. The great thing about this is that this is a new facet to David Hill because there's vocalizations. Yeah, yeah. Typically, he's very silent, very mimic. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I like I like the guttural yells. Okay, fear of heights, Stevie. Anything we need to know? Yeah, about Yeah, I have a scientific study for this one. You know how much you like scientific studies. Yeah. Participants with and without acrophobia were asked to judge the height of a building when standing both at ground level and when on top of the building. Those afraid of heights thought the building was 10 feet taller when at ground level than those without the fear and 40 feet taller <laughs> when on the top of the building. So tall heights actually feel greater than they are. 
to acrophobics. Okay. I ironically have this fear. Um, you know, there's been a couple of situations. Like the one that stands out in my mind is because you're tall. We went down to that's where the irony comes from. Um, we went down to the Central Florida Zoo many, many years ago to make yeah. a commercial for them back in the Commercial Kings days. If you want to see animals pooping, search it up online. Yeah. It wasn't Commercial Kings. It was, it was pre before commercial that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, and it's they had awesome. a, for some reason, they had a ropes course. And Link and I were like, we're going to do the ropes course, just the two of us. <laughs> yeah. And it was fun. It wasn't fun. For me. I I, I made, <laughs> I, I was like, I'm going to finish this thing. But It I wasn't was, even that tall. It wasn't. No, but it was tall enough. This is 80 it, feet tall. No, like 12 feet in the air on a rope. That's high for me. I I, it, I just completely lock up. I did it, but I had a miserable time. I also feel like, not because I'm trying to identify with, I think everybody identifies with me. I think this is the most common fear. All right, put it at number one. We can switch it around later if we have to. Okay. It does look good up there. All right, finally. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's worms and grubs. I thought it was gonna be spiders. I thought oh, it was a and, pile of spiders. You know, there's like a crick, there's like a weird cricket in there too. This it. means that spiders aren't even in the top ten. It's because spiders are not insects. Yeah, is this it? is entomophobia, which is the fear of insects. And women are four times more likely to have this phobia than men because it's an evolutionary trait that stems from women encountering bugs regularly while gathering food, and that fear developed to keep both moms and their children safe. Um, okay, um, well, we gotta put it at number four. We have no choice. Right, so we're putting that there. I can't believe that spiders is not one of these. Arachnophobia. It was even a movie. I know, they made a whole movie. With Jeff Daniels. You, you bring Jeff Daniels in, you do serious business. Must be number okay. 11. So do you guys remember how many were placed on the board for you to start? Uh, four. You're, you're, yeah. you're setting up a joke, and you're <laughs> going to tell us that we have four correct, aren't you? It's uh, less of a joke and more of a fact. You have four correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Nothing correct. All right. So let's, let's start at the top. What is the actual most common fear? Do you think it's insects? Do you think insects is more than heights, or snakes is more than heights? Because it has to be one of those. It's got to be snakes. But hold on. So I, don't, I I agree with that. <laughs> Putting snakes first, but then you put heights or insects second. Yeah, so you work with this, Chase. Go ahead and put snakes at number one, and then hover heights. Insects has to be higher. Yeah. In, in, insects is number insects two. To number two. So you're telling me that the f more people are afraid of flying than heights? That doesn't make sense. Because uh, I, I, like all the time I'm with people who are like, oh, I'm a little scared of heights. But it's, I, I know your wife is scared of flying, but like, and it's pretty common. Number three, but is it more common than being scared of heights? It ha and I, I, I feel like it is, because insects, you wanted insects to be number one. You were debating that. So, okay, yeah, so make okay. heights number four. All right, so now we have to switch these around. Dogs is locked, so spaces mm -hmm. and thunder and lightning, we could just switch those two. No, but then we've got places and situations which are also wrong. We were wrong about all of them. R right. Yeah. Oh, so, so, we, so those three, are, we have to switch these three. Um, Claustrophobia has got to go higher. No. It can't go lower. We're, you're about to move it lower. We can't do that. But it's not that common. It's well known that Lots it's not of people common. have a problem with like getting in an MRI machine. Like, I'd say two out of five people are like, I'm uncomfortable when I'm in that MRI machine. I'm saying move heights to two and claustrophobia to four and insects to five. This, this, let, let, let me try something and then you tell me what's absolutely wrong. Okay. Um, agoraphobia has to move up to number five, and then astrophobia moves down to number eight. Thunder and lightning, can we agree on that? Let's demote thunder, thunder and, and lightning. lightning should be lower. I, I we agree on that. Agree on that. It, it, I agree that claustrophobia is more common than agoraphobia. So take claustrophobia, remove it, move agoraphobia down. Oh now God. it's back to where it was. Right. Yeah. Oh crap. Now See, that's the problem. Was. <laughs> yeah, but so you know switch it back with thunder and lightning. <laughs> you think that thunder? No, see, no. Is that no? No way. No, put no, no, no. Leave no that way. Off. No, that, 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 that. That, that, that. Put this here. Well, I was coming to help you. <laughs> we, we uh, four hands are better than two. And now, now I, now I'm just confused. Now, is this different than what it was? Is everything different? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think this could work, and we, Stevie, are locked in. But before you tell us I'm that we've gotten them I all know. right, I just want to let you know that once Stevie tells us that we've gotten all of these right, yep. 
We have a special announcement, okay? So stick around for that after, while you're celebrating that we got all of these right. Right. Stevie, go ahead and tell us that we got all these right. I mean, according to this, I do believe you've greatly improved where you were previously. All right. It looks like in addition to the four, you have three more correct so you have seven okay. correct so we which did is it. pretty dang yeah. good so let me uh so we get reveal the them with you so we're gonna start at spot 10 uh well that was locked in germs and dirt misophonia and needles that was locked in oh thank you for so i don't have to say these that's great <laughs> um oh and we get to go straight to my favorite at number eight Astrophobia, which is the fear yep. of thunder. See, that's and what lightning. I told you. No, I completely agreed. It just, I, it needed to be lower, but it was the other one was in the wrong place. Seven is sinophobia, which is locked in. Uh, six is ophidiophobia, the fear of snakes. What? Yeah, snakes should have been lower, man. Insects should be number one. See, we put our two top fears at the top. That's what we did. Five is entomophobia, the oh. fear of insects. Okay. Four is claustrophobia, the okay. fear of enclosed spaces. Mm -hmm. Three was already locked in, and I'm Fine, not going to say it. <laughs> Two is acrophobia, fear of heights. And one is agoraphobia. Agoraphobia, because it's so broad. We, we still, still did it. We still did it, but you know what? We'll show you the reenactment of, of the picture. We just ain't going to post it anywhere, except we'll show it to you right here. Isn't, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish we would have posted? Yeah. That? Alicia I mean, somebody is going to post it. All right, screw it. We'll post it anyway. Okay. But we still get to go to our happy place. All right, now time for the big yes. announcement. We have a very, very big announcement. All right. Um, I like to keep things that mean a lot to us. So, what I've been doing, and if you've been listening to our podcast, Ear Biscuits, you knew this was coming, but I have taken the first videos that we ever made together, the first comedy videos that Rhett and I ever made together, you know, on VHS tapes, VHSC tapes, all types of tapes. All tapes. We digitized those, and we are releasing them exclusively on the Mythical Society as a special limited series that we're calling Never Before Seen. And we're calling it that because they've literally never been seen before by anyone other than us and the people that we were showing them to in the room where yeah. we first premiered them, right? But they've never been published anywhere until now. So, and so this is, this is what made us who we are today. And if you watch them, uh, you might not come to that same conclusion. All right, so what we're doing is we've posted the videos in, in two ways. We've posted the original, we haven't edited them in anymore. It's in their pure, original, nascent form. But then we also uploaded us doing a running commentary of each one so you could make sense of it and uh, just see what our reactions are. Uh, as we're watching it pretty much for the first time in like 20 years, in yeah. decades. So we wanted to show a preview right now of episode one. Okay, Withers Hall, this was on the campus. You're running out of the door from where the weekly meeting was happening because Greg wasn't there. Because I went up front to, the, to, to the, the meeting and was like, welcome everybody, where's Greg? Oh crap, I gotta go get him. And now as you can see, I'm showing this woman pictures of Greg to see if she knows him. And this woman was not someone we knew. I don't know. Oh, oh, hold on. What? I mean. 1-800 the Mac? You had a 1-800 number? I did, man. No, toll, you didn't. Toll free. Shit. I mean, look at that. Like, Call me for, for a, a good, good time? That's not appropriate, It dude. was so, everything was so inappropriate. Call me for a good time. Just a good, just hang out with me, man. What was the good time that you had in mind here? Probably a Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> no. And now, what are, you, what are you doing? Well, hold on. Let's also talk about what's happening with the camera, because you realize that when I'm looking at the camera there, you're hitting that button on the camera that does the, <laughs> the, the, the zoom in. Uh, like, that's not an edit trick. That's an in-camera thing. So, it was basically like, oh, I'm I'm gonna try to to have a relationship with this lady. The funny thing that you're doing right now is trying to read like meaning and trying purpose. to make sense of it. Yeah, like it was all seat of the pants. It was like, all right, I'm gonna hand this thing to this girl. Hey, and I'm gonna look at the camera and it looked real sexy. One eight hundred the Mac. I gotta look at the camera. Yeah, it wasn't. 
it wasn't, there was no thought going on. So now you're gonna see if any of these people, you can give any of them a good time. No, no, no. well, apparently I am gonna give them a good time. What? This is the striptease ver portion okay. of the I, listen, I don't, Christian video. I, again, I'm going on instinct here. I don't know what the plan was. Oh, the pants are coming off! I, I don't But you do have on shorts. Big shorts. I don't recommend just going up <laughs> to strangers and undressing. These choices were being made, but yet, this was a the very beginning of a long career as emceeing these Campus Crusade events. Making these decisions only propelled me further into higher levels of responsibility. Whereas every like, decision whoa. should have been a point where, where people should rush Shut in it down. and stop us. <laughs> right. Whoa, it's Moss Man. <laughs> yeah, that's me, baby. Oh, look at my Moss boobies. I just saw some horn. They call me Moss Man. Thee has ventured too close to my realm of doom. Oh, action scene <laughs> with a spear. So I guess Greg was filming this since we were both in it. Yeah, some zoom I would work. never zoom like some that. Some zoom work by Greg. So, no stabbing. I just... didn't stab you. I just knocked your horn off and apparently drowned you. <laughs> oh, am I dead that quickly? You're like the Wicked Witch of the West, man. You just yes. melted into the water. Oh, no. Don't, no, no, don't that do, wasn't Don't healthy. eat the moss, man. <laughs> okay. There's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, in fact, uh, episode one in, in and of itself is 20 minutes long. Uh, <laughs> and three episodes are live now on the Mythical Society. So check out Never Before Seen, available for all three degrees over on the Mythical Society. It'll blow your mind with a blast from the past. That could be uh, a slogan for it. All right. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Riley. I'm Logan. We're at the Cape Fear River at Raven Rock State Park, and it's, and it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. I knew that immediately. That's a good, that's a recognizable yeah. spot. Yeah. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us discover some of the most bizarre phobias in the world in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Color your little hearts out with the mythical coloring book available now at mythical.com.